commonplaces, uncommon views. After my grandfather passed away, I found thousands of his photos just hidden away in storage. Nobody knew about them. And I've been scanning and going through those photos for a couple years now. So his name was Les, and we'd always do the same thing when we'd go to really popular places, and we really didn't care as much about the really large thing in front of you as much as you know the little details that we would spot or the other little angles that we would find it was funny one of my first experiences sharing some of his photos in a public setting i had this photo of the leaning tower of pisa and everybody was so interested in that photo because they had seen it or they had been there or whatever but no one had seen it like that you know it's it's kind of an interesting spot and you have this bicyclist in the photo and and these old cars lined up and everything so i always thought it was so interesting that that was people's reason that they enjoyed it right like if it had just been a normal photo of the tower it wouldn't have been nearly as interesting and there's another shot at the tower that i think is even more interesting than the first one with this woman, I, I guess, drawing or, or writing or something, and just people kind of milling around, and you can tell it's in the background, you can tell it's right there, but again, it's just not the only thing. It's not the single focus. So there's this one location in Colorado that I go to pretty regularly called Mayflower Gulch, and it's just a real real simple little hike and a real interesting just way that it opens up to these big mountains and you're kind of looking down a valley and it kind of has one of those you know very common spots to shoot like there's an old cabin and there's the mountains that are right in front of you and so you kind of have the photo that everybody shoots that everybody sees when they get there um, and then you have all the interesting details that people just miss um, and I feel like that's part of photography is just finding all the little interesting details so one of my favorite photos is this one that I took at Mayflower Gulch in the spring one year and honestly a lot of people think that it's of the mountains or something from a distance but it's actually the top-down view of the shadow of this forest because it's such a sharp cutoff you can see in the kind of aerial shot of everything it's like that's the shot that most people take that's what you usually see of this area but it's not nearly as interesting to me as the one of just the shadows and you know how strong that contrast is between the the dark shadows of the trees and the snow and and just how interesting that is so i don't prefer the big obvious photos much like les didn't but I think the interesting B-side kind of detailed shots of the everyday things that everyone's busy looking at is, is a lot more interesting. So I hope you find some new perspectives to find this week.